previous video finished with making a copy of the splitting surface, an offset copy of the upper fender surface that was downward by 0.07 inches, and then those were mutually trimmed together to create a single surface that is sort of a downward shaped cup with a flange running around it at the parting line of the part. When making the mutual trim, make sure that you not only eliminate this inside piece here, but there will be a very small piece down below that you have to get rid of too, so that these will cleanly meet up along this edge. You might actually find it easier instead of using the remove option to simply use the keep option and keep this upper portion here and this outer portion here. This surface will end up forming the upper limit for our fender liner which will be extruded in this area. The problem is we don't have a convenient plane down here that's flat that we can attach our fender liner to and then just simply extrude up to this surface. Instead what we're going to have to do is draw our fender liner somewhere up here above this surface, extrude downward to this surface, and then use this surface as a trimming surface to get rid of any of the excess. So using this plane that we created way up here at some arbitrary distance as long as it's above the fender, what we do is draw a sketch of our designer, desired fender liner. I'm going to temporarily hide this surface and we'll take a look at that sketch. What I've done is copied this edge made a wall 0.06 thick here, but only 0.04 thick here. This is because in this area we have a T intersection between this rib and the overall plastic part, which could cause a potential sink mark if this wall is too thick. I've also set the wall in a little bit from the edges of the wheel well on both sides. The sketch then is simply extruded down to this surface. And I've decided to do this at the moment without any draft added to the extrusion and I'm going to be adding draft at the end of this part creation. I'm going to unhide my surface that's used for trimming and I'm going to simply do a cut with surface to get rid of this excess wall that's sticking up above. I'm going to select this body here cut that down to the surface. I can go ahead and hide the surface we can see our result. Phase three is going to be to add a second axle support rib, an extruded cut that cuts through both the fender wall and the support rib that creates a slot for the axle. This is completed by then combining all the parts together. Rolling back to the beginning of phase three, the support rib here is nothing more than a simple sketch located on the plane that goes through the axle and set to a particular thickness. in this case set to a thickness of 0.04, 0.05 inches and then just projected up to this surface and also projected in the opposite direction as a blind with a distance of about 0.2 inches. To make this slot you will want to turn your axle back on and use this edge to control the bottom of the